Hey, what's up guys? It's the news from AndroidRoots.com. We're taking a look at Pac-Man ROM for the Galaxy Nexus GSM, Rising and Sprint. I'll leave links down below. You can go ahead and download this for your very own Galaxy Nexus. Uh, but this ROM has so many features that I definitely know I won't be able to touch on a lot of them. I'll touch on all the new ones that I see um, that I haven't seen in the past and probably you haven't seen either. But I'm going to let you guys know right away, You won't. I won't be able to mention every single new feature. Um, so here it is, and if you guys don't know what Pac-Man ROM is, P is for Paranoid Android, A is for AOKP, and C is for Cyan and Gemini. Um, so it's all three of these ROMs smash into one great ROM with Pac-Man's own new features. Um, so it's basically the ultimate ROM, <laughs> especially for your Galaxy Nexus. So you have Pac uh, version right there, AOKP, Cyan and Gemini, and Paranoid Android, all running on Android 4.4.2. Um, so it's all nice, and we are running on the uh, Pac-Man theme, so we can go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So themes... Um, so here it is, here's the Pack X theme, um, so that's why you get this uh, transparent uh, settings and also transparent UI as you can see right there. Uh, which is pretty nice and of course you can go and change it to the usual one if you want uh, but we can go ahead and start off with a lock screen and then pretty much everything is pretty much basic I haven't really seen anything too crazy different we can take a look at uh, theme styles and you can go ahead and change all the colors right there which is pretty neat uh, and I went ahead and added some slider shortcuts so or actually this was already uh, pre-done for me actually so you have uh, internet uh, calling, music, messaging, and of course unlocking. Of course, you can go ahead and change these to really anything you want. Application, bookmarks, contacts even. So you guys get the idea. You have a lot of options. Um, and this works for a lot of things, especially um, you know for your Google stuff too. You can add more, I believe, right there too with this ROM. Uh, so it's nice. Um, so battery status, button actions, you know, nothing too crazy there. Oh, I actually like this one. So glow pad, uh, double tap gestures. I went ahead and tapped onto torch. Now when we're on a lock screen, I go ahead and tap on the middle uh, lock screen button. And look at that. My torch is turned on. Double tap it again. My torch is turned off. Uh, so that's a nice feature. Very, very easily and quickly to access that, especially if you're, you know, camping in the woods or, you know, in the dark and your lights aren't working sometimes. <laughs> In that case, you need a new light bulb. <laughs> uh, so, uh, pack black, just leave that on or off. I don't think it affects it anymore since we have that theme turned on. Um, so it affects it a little bit, but not too much. Leave it on if you want to save a little bit of battery life, so I'd leave it on. Uh, pack pellets, so this is where I like a, a couple new things. So you have weather, status bar, nothing too crazy right there. If you go ahead and move down, you have gestures anywhere, which is nice. So I re-enabled this, you know, to get it out of the way so I can show you as many features within a reasonable uh, time limit. So whenever I go ahead and swipe from left to right, I go ahead, it, let's try that again. There we go. It launches this uh, tinted window. And now let's say I put in C, it'll go ahead and launch the camera application because I already preset C for camera. And you can go ahead and change all these different settings. I'll go ahead and show you that really, really quickly. So gestures right here. See here, here's some C for camera. I can go add a new gesture, apps, let's do uh, calendar now. I can do uh, C, A, so something like that. Um, stupid as that, <laughs> doesn't even look like a C, A, but you guys get the idea. Uh, you can do really anything with this, so that's pretty nice. And I don't know why this it doesn't go back on this, so we'll go ahead and launch settings again, and we'll keep moving on. So within more options within pack pellets, we'll go ahead and move on. Um, you have identity. Uh, identicons, I believe that's what it's called. And you can go ahead and change the styles, the default look of the contact looks if there's no picture installed or actually available for it. Um, I don't have any contacts with this Google account, so I can't really show you that, but uh, there you go, you guys get a feature. Um, so there you guys go. Let's see what else is there. Okay, yes, you have the AOKP ribbons right here. So I went ahead and already preset one, or actually two, so you have recents and power. So this is for the left ribbon items. I went ahead and actually went and put mine on the lock screen, so ring, vibrate, and silence. So if we go ahead and head back to the lock screen, uh, here it is, here's the little ribbon. So when I'm going to tap on it, it should turn to silent, I believe, or sound. Yes, yeah, so it turned to silent now. If I go ahead and tap on it again, it should go to volume. And now if I go and tap on it again, it'll go to vibration. Um, you can see by the icon that changes up above. Uh, so I like that. That's a nice, neat feature that you can quickly access. And as you can see, I'm trying to press back, but it doesn't seem to be working. Now, I went ahead and just recently re rebooted my Galaxy Nexus because it wasn't working earlier too. Um, and it was working. So I believe it could be one feature, particular feature that I use 
um, and that makes it stop working um, or it could just be after a few minutes it stops working so you want to watch out for that um, and uh, you may have seen that this is still an alpha so be aware that try it on, you know when you come home from work or really whenever you have time when you don't need your phone for your work or any important uh, situation then you can go ahead and try this ROM if everything works for you like a just about everything works for me um you'll be fine even though it's alpha just be aware and be notified about that um so let's see what else is there so you have crt animation you also have this new uh toast animation and other options so you have all these uh animations so you can do uh let's go ahead and change it to xylon animation and you can see the type of animation right here uh we can go ahead and change it again we can do uh translucent the translucent and you can see it changes uh we can try it um this one, this animation, you can see, so it does change a little bit. Um, so I like that. That's a nice option right there. Um, you also have navigation bar and navigation ring, which isn't too crazy. And yes, I did try removing this navigation bar, the back button, and adding it again. Um, it didn't fix this back button issue, so be aware of that. But it was working just recently before, so I really don't know why it stopped working now. Uh, but just be aware. Um, also console, so this is where you get all your over there updates, so you may want to have this run flashed and wait for a new over there update. Um, maybe go to go to beta or stable version from the uh, alpha right now. Um, so that's where you guys get it. Um, as you can see, all these things are popping up, app sidebar, all these, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so it's just a lot, and as you can see, I can't go back again. Um, and I think I want to show you a few more things before I end it up. The video is already 6 minutes, so I don't like to extend it, extend it too long. Um, so also with the pack x theme you get these new icons on the side so that's nice and also let's go ahead and end it up with the app um, so this is a pretty cool app so google pac-man app um, it's basically playing pac-man on your phone that's a game which is pretty cool so we'll insert coin and as you can see it's very similar it says google in the middle and you can go ahead and play um, so as you can see i can go ahead and tap uh, so as you can see all these things are popping up um, so you might have to go ahead and change the settings for some of these um, as you can see I died right there but you guys get the idea it's pretty cool they even include a pac-man app um, so these are really great developers it's even though it's still an alpha, um, it's still a great ROM. You just want to maybe look at that back button, uh, be aware of that. Uh, but either way, this ROM is available for Galaxy Nexus GSM, Ryzen, and Sprint. I'll leave links about down below. We can go ahead and pick this up for your uh, actual Galaxy Nexus. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to go ahead and subscribe and like this video, if you guys enjoyed it, I would appreciate that. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which are also located down below in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.